Right, welcome back. Last time, a uh, spy decided to invade us. Isn't that the end of last time? The war has only started. So far, they've only called in their colonies, although they could, have, could end up calling in any of their allies, including Portugal. Although, that's worst case scenario. They could call this one in. Which I honestly don't care about, so. The big issue is that they have heavy ships, and lots of them. I have myself been fighting eight of them right here. Yeah. I've also started integrating all these new territories. Which is good. Once Songye is cored, then everything will be cored. I've also been trying to work towards getting them to calm down with better communications. Though so far I've only improved this by about 20 days, maybe 50 at the most. Even then it's still ridiculously bad. Somewhere between 20 and 50 days. I don't remember how long the communication times. Could have been 120 days at the most. If it was, and it was only 10 days improved. But, yeah. I'm a bit too busy right now to really worry about infrastructure. Oh, there's also this thing. It wouldn't actually be that bad to fight, because it's mostly that, but... Well, let's get you a leader. And let's get started. It's actually really good. For combat stats. For free! Okay. Yeah, Right here. Yep. I am setting my army up to occupy this, although beyond that, it's not going to do much. The occupation is really there to act as a means to take the territory for myself. Which I'd like to have, especially since this is by Congo. This is a trading post province, so we'll probably come back to my culture if I want to take it. Oh well. Alright, now I think I can grab everything I want. Oh, hey, I can grab 117 extra tokens. Yeah, I forgot Spain was a global power. Rank 3, great power. I still managed to beat them in a one on one fight. Although well, it's pretty close. And it has much more to do with incompetence than anything else. Anyway, so I'll be taking this island and all of these, well, these three provinces right here. And the other bit is, well, so yeah, four provinces in total. All of them trading for those provinces, so they will convert to my culture, for the most part my religion, very quickly. And as well as that, war reparations, plus 117 deaths. Three point eight prestige, and I've lost the naturalism guest ability because there's no longer any provinces of my culture left. This is an island. Okay. Let's move back to here. I don't think you'll be affected by attrition since you're black flagged, exiled. And then that war can get back to. Colonizing the trading post provinces of Madagascar. I gotta replace the, the trade war here as well. Yippee. Thanks for your help, West Africans. Although it was not much, it is still greatly appreciated. Lundu. You're not fine. You make for... Uh oh. Ah, they'll get enough provinces to color this place. 
must be one that. Yeah, it must be. It's these provinces that they grab from the remnants of Cuba. By the way, they don't actually own anything north of this line right here. Well, there's this province, but beyond that, they don't own anything north of this line. So this part of the coloring in isn't actually doesn't actually mean anything. Oh no, honestly, I do kind of feel like I should have the Congo at least colored in. The Congo wasteland. There's quite a bit to it. Maybe this one would be make a bit more sense. But, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll color in a wasteland by the end of the campaign. Okay, so it's going to take a while. Yeah, let's get to the next step. National Anthem. The 16th century onward well, saw the birth of popular patriotism, with ordinary people expressing pride in their countries through art. During the period, several stirring anthems were composed, such as Rule Britannia in 1740, and national figures created, such as John Bull. I get another idea group. Right, so what do I want? Let's just take professional arm. Just need to focus middle points. Man, that must be humiliating for Spain. <laughs> Especially since there's seven there's six no techs ahead of me. And they still lost. They had a bigger navy. Uh more troops in total. And better technology. Me? I just sat there and won. <laughs> now that I have so much money, let's actually expand the bureaucracy again. Yep, it only costs 3,500 ducats. I'm getting 30 ducats a month of war reparations. It was definitely worth it to just, just wait around for that. <laughs> For 10 years, I'll give an extra 30 ducats per month. That's 120 months. That totals to about 3,600 ducats. That is a lot. Of course, that is assuming that their income remains constant. That's not necessarily the case. It might even increase. Myself, thank you. Is Florence still one of the most advanced nations in the world? Yes. If not the most advanced nation. I have to poke around here for a little while though first before I make any conclusions. Although I think I'll stick with a probably and move on. <laughs> Ireland is doing excellently. They're more advanced than England is overall. Yeah, they're just more advanced than England, period, and everything except for diplomatic technology. How much is there even? I would never have believed that this would be a game where Ireland becomes dominant. Maybe not dominant, but still pretty powerful. Powerful enough to rival England. 
in some ways. Alright. This seems like a good time to stop. That's the new colony in Spanish Guayana. La Guaynas. Okay. I'd wish you change your name to Irish Mexico and Irish Canada. Or maybe New Ireland somewhere. I mean, the Irish are definitely colonizing over here. Near Mexico City. Anyway. Uh. I could theoretically take England as a rival if I wanted to. They don't have an army. At all. Their navy's 50% stronger than mine, though, so not, they shouldn't be one to complain. Zanzibar has eaten up the rest of Cuba, which is why they are now coloring this wasteland. So they now have a huge name. I'm not sure what happened here. Wow, okay. No separatism. They must have unified the island diplomatically somehow. Maybe via a scripted event? I don't know. Whatever happened, they are now in full control over the island. That's Catholic as a syncretic faith. Oh, okay. That's right, it could theoretically take a syncretic faith if I want to. Where it loses the bonus is. Uh, Does this really count as a bonus? I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. Um, Jelly Free is now able to be cored. Good. Bon Jewel still has unrest. Uh, communications have not improved. I guess it hasn't updated yet. Oh, uh, yeah. It's. No, it's not. I don't entirely know what the difference between the two is. I also can't go here because it hasn't updated its communications here either. They are, for the moment, as bad as they are to Cuba. Worse, in fact. Perhaps Mongo levels. No, it's even worse than that. Yeah. But once it's better, it's going to become like 10 days. I mean, it's 15 over here, so it's. And over here it's 16, so about 15, 16 days. Yeah, uh, won the war against Spain. The rank three great power of the world. Second greatest in Europe. And not by that big of a margin. And they lost against me. One on one fight. They're also seem to be losing against Turkey, too, so. They're not doing too hot. This looks awful. Denmark, Norway. Why don't you form Scandinavia while you're at it? Please. At least it would look a bit better. I really can't tell if there's much of a difference. I think this was a matter of how I had before, but. Madagascar seems to be unifying. I'm not entirely sure how, though. Could be via event. Oh yeah. One other thing's France is a merchant republic. <laughs> a merchant republic. I'm way too big for that. Still haven't finished. Oh look, there's another Brittany. New Brittany. New Bro Gernav. Gernav. New Bro Gernav. I guess. I'm not entirely certain on that pronunciation. Still haven't. Okay, I'll order this. It'll finish tomorrow. But not tomorrow. Next session. Which should be the day after. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye.